1.13 seconds. The Asian record and Olympic record, 50.39 seconds. Both of them owned by this man, Joseph Isaac Schooling. The lineup for the race, Quinn Mandat of Vietnam, who finished seventh in the 200 meters butterfly, swims in lane number one. Let's see if Joe is up for this now. A record in his sights. There he is since Key Fox win in 2011. The Vietnamese haven't medaled in this event. Chan Tie of Malaysia in lane two. He was eighth in the 50 meters butterfly. Triadi Fauzi, who set an Indonesian record in 2016 in Malaysia, is in lane three. Glenn Victor Sutanto, who has medaled in three consecutive games, silver, bronze, silver, he's in lane number four. And for the first time ever, in the history of sea game swimming, we can say the words, here comes the Olympic champion. Dylan Ku, his compatriot, who was second at the Commonwealth Youth Games, is in lane six. Navafat Wong Chairon of Thailand, who set a new national record at the Singapore National Age Group Champs earlier this year, he's in seven. And Nguyen Ngoc Quyn of Vietnam in lane eight, he finished fifth in the 200 meters butterfly. Chasing schooling is the name of this game. While schooling chases a record. The Malaysians are going to get a real treat here. An Olympic champion in the SEA Games event for the very first time. Ladies Dylan Koo has his very own ambitions of lowering his personal best time. Thank you. He was fourth in the 50 fly and fifth in this event in 2015. The two-time defending champion, of course, Joseph Schooling. Well, the big question here, Gerald, is whether Joseph Schooling is going to put on beast mode because if he does, then we might see the first sub-52 second swim in SEA Games history. Now, when he first, before he came about, uh, Joe Schooling, we were all amazed at the likes of Key Fork and uh, Daniel Bagel clocking sub-54, sub-55. But that was what we term BS, before schooling. That's a period that's almost unknown now because since Joe has emerged, we are looking perhaps at the first ever sub-52 second swim in SEA Games history. Yes, I think he's going to do a sub-52. He's going to break that SEA Games record. That comes so naturally to him. I'm breaking 52 is something that he probably does in his training nowadays. Triadi Fauzi keeping pace with him but losing out right now. Joe Schooling going after the SEA Games record, becoming the first swimmer perhaps to go under 52 seconds at the SEA Games. He does 51.38 seconds and he is 1.65 seconds ahead of uh, Triadi Fauzi. Well, that's not uh, the new largest margin of victory in SEA Games history. It is the third largest margin of victory in SEA Games history but still good enough for gold medal and a new SEA Games record. The first man ever in the SEA Games to go below 52 seconds is the Olympic champion, Joseph Schooling, naturally. Well done. I think this is obviously not his best time, but I think Joe is probably happy with it. Um, you know, he, he broke the, his SEA Games record, so he's obviously improved um, from two years ago. And I mean, that's his goal coming in here, not to do a best time, but simply just to win this race and break a record if possible. Well, Triadi came out very quickly, didn't he? The Indonesian who finished second to Joe in the 50 meters butterfly, trying to keep pace with Joe. And he actually did all the way through until the touch of the wall. And this is where Joe does most of his business off the wall. After that, you're not living on the same estate. I think Joe was a little bit surprised at the first 50 that Triadi was almost in line with him. You saw Joe uh, maybe three strokes into the wall. He took a, a look to the right to see who was that, you know, kind of on par with me, right? Um, but after the turn on, 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 the, on the wall, the underwater, you saw that Joe just used that 15 meters again to his advantage. Triadi, uh, obviously his underwater kick is good as well, but he did not use that whole 50 meters. Um, no one can compare to Joe when it comes to that. Absolutely. One of the best in the world. He's won it three in a row now. The first since Daniel Bago to win it three in a row. So he and Bago, the only ones to go three in a row in this event. Yeah. 